Just off the coast of Newfoundland, scientists aboard the Joydis Resolution recovered sediments from a depth of 1,000 feet below the seafloor. They pulled up a core with a strange layer, a dark band of ash and rare metals. This layer is 66 million years old, the same age as the youngest dinosaur fossils we find on land. Dinosaurs roamed the Earth for over 150 million years before this time. Then suddenly, they disappeared. An asteroid hurtling through space hit a shallow ocean off the coast of Mexico and vaporized upon impact. Unleashing massive fires and volcanic eruptions, dust and ash filled the atmosphere, blocking sunlight for many years of bitter cold and darkness wiping out three-quarters of Earth's plants and animals. We know about this natural disaster because it left its mark right here in this core and others found around the world. Thankfully, some creatures, similar to the ones we know today, survived this catastrophic event. And the Earth rebounded, making way for new species to develop and flourish like our own. The ocean holds a most impressive record of Earth's history of over 200 million years. Not in its waters, but in the seafloor beneath. Particles of sand, clays, ash, and the remains of living things collect here over time. Younger material building up on top of older. Earth scientists set out on specialized drill ships that, like time machines, allow them to travel back to periods when palm trees grew on Antarctica or to an Earth mostly covered in snow. They drill deep into the seafloor through layers of time and extract cylinders of mud or rock, cores that are carefully pulled up on board and delivered to labs on the ship. Here, scientists become detectives of Earth's past, using clues from the fossils of single-celled creatures called plankton to decipher what the Earth was like thousands or even millions of years ago. Like this core, drilled in the North Atlantic, it contains species of plankton that thrived in the freezing waters of the last ice age a time when ice sheets covered large areas of land in the Northern Hemisphere, 24,000 years in the past. Ocean drilling is dedicated to pulling cores out of the seafloor, but in some cases, we actually put something else in. After coring operations, these scientists placed a string of instruments into the drill holes. They measure any slight shifts below the seafloor, shifts that could lead to an earthquake deep inside the earth. This is valuable, especially in Japan, where some of the world's deadliest deep sea earthquakes are born, triggering massive tsunami waves that devastate coastlines all around the Pacific Ocean. Every tremor along this fault is now recorded in real time, giving completely new insights to the buildup towards large earthquakes, where they start and how their energy spreads throughout the Earth. And with a network of instruments in place, we can now detect tsunami waves earlier than before, helping more people to safety in time. Over the years, scientists have extracted cores from all over the world's oceans that reveal a shocking worldwide shift in climate. They discovered a time of rapid warming, a message from the past to better prepare us for climate change today. 
The shells of tiny ocean creatures normally collect on the seafloor when they die, making the sediment mostly white. But during this time, the warmest ever recorded, the ocean became more acidic from all the carbon dioxide in the water, dissolving the shells before they hit bottom. And so, we are left with a dark band of clays, empty of any signs of life. Other cores taken from the Arctic Ocean contain evidence of a more tropical environment, pollen from palm trees that drifted from nearby land. Imagine, 55 million years ago, you could have been sipping a lemonade on a beach in northern Alaska. Everywhere we look, there is life. And sometimes in the most unlikely places. From the coldest mountains to the darkest caves, on the seafloor, and even deep within it. For over half a century, scientific ocean drilling has led scientists into the past. But it also helps them to unveil wonders of the present in the deepest reaches of our Earth. Scientists aboard the largest scientific drill ship, the Chikyu, went digging for microbes in the seafloor. Tiny, single-celled organisms that thrive in conditions unimaginable to humans. In stifling heat with barely any food, oxygen, or water, and in complete darkness. This amazing discovery of sub-seafloor microbes could point to the origins of life on Earth, or to the possibility of life surviving in extreme conditions on other planets. <laughs>